Breckless Ben is a member of the public who paid Mo King 4,000 Namibian dollars for a machine that he never delivered. Mo King buys the machines from Airtime City and sells it privately. Today on one contacted Airtime City with management confirming that Mo King is acting like he represents their business by wearing their t-shirt while selling the machines. I do my own investigation whereby I called a time city because he sent me an invoice and on that invoice there is a cell phone number that belongs to a time city and i called and i got a person who is working for a time city polis who even helped me to go to uh, direct me to his manager and i also spoke with the manager and i sent the manager the invoice that he was sought it was not a cash invoice every business if somebody come and ask for an invoice they will get give you an invoice until you paid, it will be a paid invoice or it will be unpaid invoice. So he sent me invoice of 20 um, devices that he bought from ATEM City, and it will be 29, uh, 90 something thousand that he paid. And I was even patient after I received that um, invoice. Okay, I will get it if the, the invoice comes. I called that number. They told me the invoice uh, is not. Per, um, it's not a valid uh, one because it's not yet paid. There are people who are doing business in other people's names. Like when I investigate this case, Moses was using Swapo as his main, he's, he's, he's the Swapo member, and he was blackmailing these people with Swapo, and he's getting these deals from, from people. The man known as Mo King is rumored to have connections in the ruling party that he can use to build up a client base for his questionable business deals. The Swabo Youth League has come out strongly to warn Mo King from using the ruling party's name to get business for himself. The Youth League leader has informed the nation that they should contact the police immediately if approached by Mo King with scams. Swapo Youth League Secretary Ephraim Nikongo also said that the man's tricks has gone as far as starting rumors that he is the secretary of the youth wing. Personally, I am very dissatisfied with the way he is dealing or conducting himself publicly. Especially now that you go to people, you scam them, and then you say you, are, you, you have connection with Swapo. That is not true. So hence, uh, um, I, I will recommend that any body who is scammed by him, he has all the rights to go even approach the police or any relevant authority that needs to deal with, uh, with, with him pertaining to their two issues. I think you are right because I'm also saying it because some people also sent me messages saying, no, we have been scammed by this person and he's claiming, he's, he's even, people are even saying, he's claiming that he's a secretary for Swapo Party Youth League. I'm Ephraim Nikongo, who is the only secretary for Swapo Party Youth League, with my deputy, Christina Indaka. We don't have any other Swapo Party Youth League secretary. So hence, he cannot claim to be a secretary of Swapo Party Youth League and do businesses as if he's a, he's a secretary. And I'm saying also, even myself as a secretary, I can't deal with the sec I mean, I can't deal with businesses on, on behalf of Swapo Youth League. Because Trump usually got his own secretary for economic affairs. Breckless Ben has gone to social media to warn people from buying from Mo King and has opened a case against the accused. Today on, one could not get hold of Mo King before the airing of this story as his phone was switched off.